Here's a fun trivia question for you. Which of the contiguous 48 U.S. states is the most seismically active? If you said California, congratulations. Not because you're right, but because you're about to learn something. It's actually Oklahoma. Now, this can seem odd if you know that the majority of earthquakes seem to congregate along those uh, very large, major fault lines that we all know about, like the one that passes straight through California. Uh, and of course, there are no major fault lines running through Oklahoma. So where are all these earthquakes coming from? Even stranger, before 2008, Oklahoma experienced an average of one to three earthquakes over a magnitude of 3.0 per year. Last year, there were 564. That's incredible. And researchers believe that the reason why is because of fracking. Fracking is the uh, human activity whereby we get uh, fossil fuels out of shale rock by blasting them with a mixture of water and chemicals. It's not just happening in Oklahoma. Recently, uh, researchers at the University of Miami published a study showing that last year in a small town in Ohio, there were more than 70 earthquakes in an area that had previously never had an earthquake before. In other words, oil companies have graduated from being immoral agents of things like global climate change and environmental disasters to being actual Bond villains. Like, creating man-made earthquakes is literally what Max Zorin does in View to a Kill, where he attempts to destroy Silicon Valley in order to corner the microchip market, which is today worth about $250 billion. Now, the oil companies are a little bit smarter about it. Um, the earthquakes are just a byproduct of what they're doing to uh, corner the market on an industry that's worth many, many times that. Uh, Exxon alone is worth over $400 billion. Um, but, you know, I have to say that this is not something that the uh, fracking companies are doing purposefully. Obviously, they do not want earthquakes to happen. And they are working with scientists to figure out uh, how it's happening and how they can stop it from happening. Um, they are not creating new fault lines, it should be noted. They are merely discovering existing small fault lines that uh, we previously had no way of knowing existed because it's very difficult to map out um, minor fault lines like that before you start blasting them with water and chemicals in a way that causes earthquakes. And as of right now, you know, nobody has been killed in these earthquakes. Uh, they've been relatively minor earthquakes. But that said, this technique could, in fact, lead to a much larger earthquake and something that could be quite a disaster for the hapless residents of the area where the fracking is going on. New York State recently became the first state to ban fracking, uh, not just for the potential earthquakes, but for the many other problems that fracking can cause, like contaminated drinking water and the complete disruption of local economies on a scale the likes of which Walmart could only dream of. But if we really want to see this practice go away, what we're going to have to do is reduce our dependence upon fossil fuels. So with that in mind, uh, here are a few tips for you. Number one, turn off the lights when you leave a room. Number two, unplug electronics when they're not in use. Number three, sell your car and buy a bike. Number four, sell other people's cars and buy them bikes too. Number five, don't have children. Number six, if you already have children, uh, hook them up to a matrix-like energy harvesting device. And number seven, uh, reject the capitalist imperative. That's probably your best bet.